back to Universal Orlando Resort. We parked in Cat in the Hat Road 260. So today we're gonna become Universal Orlando pass holders again. We're gonna head over to guest services now, buy our passes. And as you can see there on November 22nd, the Universal Orlando holiday offerings began. They have the holiday parade. So we'll hopefully get to check that out a little later. But let's go head into guest services and grab our passes. So right there you can see the Florida resident two park pass prices. They're anywhere from $324.99. Hi Ivy, you excited to go to Universal? This is gonna be one of her first times here. I think we may have brought her like one time, maybe one or two times when she was a newborn, but this will be the first time in over a year. All right, we've made it into the park. Just checking out this new Wicked experience right here. I know they just opened that. All right, so we're on Hollywood Boulevard and I was just checking out the Christmas decorations. One thing that they always do every year is those Santa hats that are on top of the light poles. And then there's garlands hung from all the different stores. And one cool thing is that everyone has like a different color and a little bit different design. Hollywood Studios does something similar and they kind of make it seem like each business is doing their own decorations, which is cool. So a lot of garlands, there's some bows and there's some wreaths up there on that building. Always looks nice though. So now we're heading over towards DreamWorks land and they have this little float here in the middle of the road and it looks like it's a Shrek and Fiona meet and greet. And it's actually a Santa Shrek. Check this out. Here they have some of the people of Shrek, like some people dressed up in some medieval outfits, interacting with guests. So there's a few different character greetings around this floor. Right here you have the three blind mice and then Puss in Boots right there. All right guys, this is gonna be our first time entering DreamWorks land. Pretty excited for this and also excited for the girls. It's nice that they have some more offerings for little kids at Universal. I see a snack stand right over here to my left. Where's the rest of the game? Shrek Swamp Meat. I guess that's a meet and greet. And then I think right over there is one of the characters from Madagascar. I don't know his or her name, but let's check out what they have at this snack stand right here. They have a Shrek Zoll, Far Far a Waffle, Swamp Dog, Mud Puddle Pudding, Ice Pops, some drinks. Cool. So right here you have King Harold's Swamp Symphony. I have all those frogs up there. And basically when you jump on the lily pads, they'll sing for you. You could see them opening their mouths. So they have soft serve ice cream cones at Trolls Treats. They have two flavors. One of them is a poppy and they have like a cute little wrapper that looks like the Trolls. So they have the Brozone Berry, which is a Huckleberry flavor, and then Poppylicious Pink, which is a pink lemonade flavor. Autumn said she wanted some ice cream, so we're gonna grab one of the Brozone Berry cones. So here it is guys, the Brozone Berry cone. Like the 
ice cream? Yeah, is it a thumbs up? Can you give me a thumbs up? <laughs> so right now we're gonna check out Poppy's Playground. This is a little play area as you can see right here. And children under 48 inches must be accompanied by a supervising companion at all times. Adults must be accompanied by a child. Oh, where are we right now? We're in here. Look guys, it's Poppy. So right in front of me, you have the Trolls Troller Coaster. Has a 40 minute wait time right now. And it does have Universal Express. A little bit earlier when we first came into DreamWorks Land, it was a 55 minute wait. So, guests under 36 inches may not ride. Children between 36 and 48 inches must be accompanied by a supervising companion. So Autumn could do this already. Maybe we'll convince her to do it. See the roller coaster? We're gonna check out Poe's Kung Fu Training Camp, which is the Kung Fu Panda themed area. And it looks like this is mainly a large playground with different types of activities for kids. I see a splash pad. And what else? There's another splash pad right here. So two splash pads. Check out this big gong right here. It's called the Gong of Resounding Resonance. Whoa. Do it again, do it again. So now we're gonna check out Poe Live. They're actually doing the last show time of the day right now. And this is a live interactive experience with Poe. Help him babysit his cousin, Ling Ling. And this is very similar to Turtle Talk with Crush over at Epcot in the Seas Pavilion. So let's go check it out. Hi Ivy. Hi. This is pretty cool. We're in the Kung Fu Panda area, but you can actually see right here the floats for the parade are coming out from the backstage area. Skadoosh. This right here is Shrek Swamp. And check out Pinocchio directly ahead of me right there, looking out of that little window. How long does it take to get tired of it? Autumn, you want to go up the slide? Let's go up the stairs. No, the slides. Autumn, you want to go on the slide? Ha <laughs> ha! 
another little interactive area called Mama Luna. And I believe this is a Puss in Boots themed area. I just got the Swamp Dog from the Swamp Snacks. It was around $9 with my pass holder discount. And it looks pretty good. It's cool, you could see the hot dog inside there. So the Swamp Dog is an oozing green cheese hot dog wrapped in pizza tree bark. <laughs> So the Swamp Dog is pretty good. The hot dog is nice and juicy. The bread almost is like a pretzel. It's nice and chewy and it tastes freshly baked and there's a lot of herbs and spices on it. So it really has a lot of flavor. This is really good. The Macy's Holiday Parade just started. So we're gonna try and find a little spot to watch it. And I'll take some clips of it for you guys. We're just walking through the New York area looking for a spot to watch the parade. And I love the decorations on this street right here. Alright, just got some food from Louis and we got some chicken alfredo and a jumbo slice of pepperoni pizza. It's been so long since I've been here. I do really like the Christmas decorations in Louis. They have these wreaths with pizzas on them. So the pizza at Louis is pretty good. It tastes like a decent New York style pizza. I'll probably give it like a three and a half or a four out of five. So it's around 7, 10 p.m. The park is closing at 8 p.m. today. And we just decided to pop into Diagon Alley before we head out of the park. But it's really crowded in here, guys. This is one thing I don't miss about Harry Potter at Universal. It always gets so crowded at both parks. They do have a lot of nice Christmas decorations in Diagon Alley. You see a lot of garlands and wreaths everywhere. Just another little clip of some of the decorations that you'll see. So we just got here to the Leaky Cauldron and we wanted to order a hot butter beer. We checked two of the other places where you can get butterbeer in Diagon Alley and they both had super long lines. So a little tip for you guys, always check the Leaky Cauldron. You can just sit down at any open table and then scan the QR code on the table and then you can order any beverage or whatever kind of food you want directly to your table. And it's a much more relaxing experience than waiting in a long line. It's cold today, it's like 58 degrees outside, but being in the leaky cauldron, it's nice and cozy in here. All right guys, so we just picked up some hot butter beer. If you guys haven't tried hot butter beer before, I highly recommend it. It's just amazing on a really cold day. So right now we're watching the new Universal nighttime show called Sensational. We're actually close to like the streets of New York area. So I think this is like the back part of the show. So it's not really the best viewing area, but I just wanted to do a little clip of the show for you guys. It looks really cool though. We'll definitely have to find a better spot to watch it from one of these days. So we're heading out of the park now. Park's already closed, but just wanted to take a quick shot of the tribute store right here. And then the Christmas tree. Mm. 
This could be found right across from the race through New York, starring Jimmy Fallon. Right before you enter the streets of New York. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. So they actually have drones for the sensational show. And they had this really cool Ghostbusters design up in the sky right now.